let's talk about Mars. Curiosity rover discovers that evidence of past life on Mars may have been erased. Really interesting. The surprising discovery doesn't make it any less likely that scientists will find life on the red planet. Here's an image of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured in this photo of the Curiosity rover on April 18th of this year. Evidence that of ancient life may have been scrubbed from parts of Mars, a new NASA study has found. The space agency's Curiosity rover made the surprising discovery while investigating a clay-rich sedimentary rock uh, around its landing site in Gale Crater, a former lake that was made when an asteroid struck the red planet roughly 3.6 billion years ago. Clay is a good signpost towards evidence of life because it usually created when rocky materials weather away and rot after contact with water, a key ingredient for life. It's also an excellent material for storing microbial fossils. But when Curiosity took two samples of ancient mudstone, a sedimentary rock containing clay from the patches of dried out lake bed, dated to the same time and place 3.5 billion years ago and just 400 meters apart, researchers found that one patch contained only half of the expected amount of clay materials. Instead, that patch held a greater quantity of iron oxides, the compound that gives Mars its rusty hue. The team believes the culprit behind the Geological Disappearing Act is brine, super salty water that leaked into the, uh, the mineral-rich clay layers and destabilized them, flushing them away and wiping patches of both geological and possibly even the biological record clean. We used to think that once these layers of clay minerals formed at the bottom of the lake in Gale Crater, they stay that way, preserving the moment in time they formed for billions of years, study lead author Tom Bristow, a researcher at, US, uh, at NASA's Ames Research Center in Mountain View, California, said in a statement. But later, brine broke down these clay minerals in some places, essentially resetting the rock record. The rover completed its analysis by drilling into the layers of the Martian rock before using its chemistry and mineral, uh, mineralogy instrument, known as ChemMin, to investigate the samples. The process of chemical transformation in sediments is called uh, diagenesis, and it could have created new life beneath Mars, even as it erased some of the evidence of the old life on its surface, according to the study's authors. So even though old records of life may have been erased in the brine patches, the chemical conditions brought about by the influx of salty water, uh, water may have enabled more life to spring up in its place, the scientists said. These are excellent places to look for evidence of an ancient life and gauge habitability. Uh, study co-author John Grotzinger, a geology, uh, geology professor at the California Institute of Technology said in a statement, even though diagenesis may erase the signs of life in the original lake, it creates the chemical gradients necessary to support subsurface life. So we are really excited to have discovered this. Curios Curiosity's mission to Mars began nine years ago, but the rover has continued to study the red planet well past its initial two-year mission timeline to establish the historic habitability of Mars for life. It is now working in collaboration with the new Perseverance rose, uh, Mars rover, which landed in February 2021, and has been tasked with collecting rock and soil samples for a possible return to Earth. The research done by Curiosity has not only revealed how the Martian climate changed, but also helped Perseverance determine which soil samples to collect to increase the odds of finding life. We've learned something impor very important. There are some parts of the Martian rock record that aren't so good at preserving evidence of the planet's past and possible life, co-author Ashwin uh, Vasava, Vasavada, a Curiosity Project scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, said in a statement, the, un the fortunate thing is we find both close together in Gale Crater and can use mineralogy to find out which is which. The search for life on Mars has been given fresh animus by a new study that could have triangulated the possible location of six methane emissions detected by Curiosity rover during its time in Gale Crater. Live Science reported, since all of the methane on Earth's atmosphere comes from biological sources, scientists are thrilled to find the gas on Mars. Let's actually check that out.
The alien burp. Let's just go ahead. Alien burp. It's funny that I just burped too. Maybe I'm an alien. Burp may have detected on uh, by NASA Curiosity rovers. The methane is likely to have been produced recently. A group. You know, I actually didn't catch this up. Uh, the group of scientists may have just pinpointed the location of Ma on Mars of a mysterious source of methane, a gas most often produced by microbes, and NASA's Curiosity rover could be right on top of it. Methane blips have pinged on Curiosity's detection system six times since the rover landed on Mars' Gale Crater in 2012, but scientists weren't able to find a source of them. Now, with new analysis, researchers may have traced the methane burps to their origin. To calculate the unknown methane source, researchers at California Institute of Technology modeled the methane gas particles by splitting them into discrete packets, taking into account the wind speed and direction at the time of their detection. The team traced their parcels of methane back through time to their possible points of emission. By doing this for all of the, uh, the different detection spikes, they were able to triangulate locations where the methane source is most likely located, with one being just a few dozen miles away from the rover. The, the findings point to an active emission region to the west and southwest of the Curiosity rover on the northwestern uh, crater floor. The researchers wrote in their paper. This may invoke a coincidence that we have selected a landing site for the Curiosity that is located next to an active methane emission site. The prospect is thrilling scientists, as almost all of the methane in Earth's atmosphere has biological or origins. Uh, sorry, I'm just, this is really exciting. According to the researchers, so that a signature on Mars could be the key signpost in finding life on the ostensibly desolate planet. Even if methane is being produced by non-biological processes, it could point to a geological activity closely tied to the presence of liquid water, a vital ingredient for past and present life to thrive. Curiosity detected the methane blips through an instrument called the Tunable Laser Spectrometer, which is capable of detecting trace quantities of the gas at less than one half per par uh, part per billion or PPB, or about the quantity of a pinch of salt dropped into an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Wow, that's pretty incredible. The methane spikes that led to the team to the potential source were registered at roughly 10 uh, PPBs. Previously, previous attempts to cross-check Curiosity's methane spikes with the uh, uh, atmospheric methane levels detected by the European Space Agency's Trace Gas Orbiter, the TGO, have failed. This could either mean that there is methane in the Martian atmosphere and the TGO somehow isn't picking it up, or there isn't any atmospheric methane on Mars and Curiosity is parked right on top of that local source. Now that right there is super exciting. I mean, can you imagine if we just happened to land one of our rovers nine years ago, we're going to just go to this one crater. That looks good. And it turns out that there's a methane source from like bacteria thriving in like an underground, like methane, liquid methane lake. I don't know if that's even possible. If li liquid methane would, uh, or, or what, like bacteria is thriving down there or like there's a civilization underneath the surface of Mars. I mean, that would be crazy. But I mean, if we were to go to Mars, having an underground base would probably be the most ideal because we're protected from radiation, much more uh, safe from asteroids and uh, de space debris hitting us. It just would make sense that life would go under underground. This is pretty cool. Very cool. I'm very excited uh, about learning about this more and more as they, they find when Curiosity heads over there.